Hello and welcome to Infinity. In another video I talked about a way to isolate monochrome, um, in other words from blacks to whites and greys and so on in an image. And now this is introducing a macro for it. Um, there'll be a link to the macro sort of down below and this is the macro that you'll get. If you just want to uh, implement a macro you just literally uh, go to the library at the top here, click on this one here, import macros, and that will be the one that you will have downloaded. So I've got it here. So what I can do is let's just do a click on this one here, the top. I'll explain as we go on. This is going to separate out the pure white, greys and blacks. And the way you're going to use this is when you've got something like water here, you typically get highlights in the water which have gone pure white where the sun's gone on them. And if you're going to print that, that can look odd because there's no ink on the paper. So if you can find those, we can turn them down off white and then we can do something about them. So here we go. And what this does, this creates a layer with this on. And I can just turn the bottom one off and you can see various bits here and in fact if I zoom into a little bit here I can see some there that's gone uh, white. Uh, if at the bottom here whilst I've got this layer selected I can also click on this it'll turn into a mask and it'll put it into you know, the channels down at the bottom there'll be a spare channels that you can reload into other masks and selections. So if I want to just kind of like isolate this so I can see what it is I'm going to go to the blend ranges here and if I pull the left hand one down here and pull this right across it will isolate everything here except the real whites down here. So there I can see just the whites in that. Now I'm going to uh, apply a curve here and because here you can see there's the bits of white in it, all I need to do is pull this one down here and it'll go off white. Notice it's disappearing from there, that's because this is isolating only whites. So there you go, with just a slight tiny tweak there, I've added a little bit of colour so there will be some ink on the paper. And I can then go back here, go to the blend ranges and just click reset and it'll put it all back but the whites now will be off white. And so if I turn the bottom layer on, those will recombine and now you'll get a, an inked picture from beginning to end. That's one example. Another thing you can do, for example, here is if you want to do something with clouds up here. And if I pull the uh, pipette there down here, if I look at clouds here, you can see here there's red 201, green 216, B blue 219. They're close but they're not the same so it's not going to be monochrome so we can have a look off monochrome here and I can click on one of these. Um, I'm just going to go for the 10% one but before I do that I'm going to help this because I'm going to give this a little bit of a white balance. So I go to adjustments here, go to the white balance and click on the picker here then just click around the bit um, see there, this says 5% there, there 4%, 8%, 15%, 8% so on. So it's around about that sort of 8-ish mark a lot of this is. So I'm going to kind of like put that as a kind of average. Then I don't have to change it because I am now going to use the macro. and I go for 10% out so there's a fair amount of leeway in this which will show me my clouds. And this will take a little time, so I'll just skip forward to the end. Right. Now then, I turn the bottom layer off. You can see I've got quite a lot selected here. I got the ground as well. If I only want the clouds here, again, I can use blend rages. Just go to this here. If I click on the point somewhere in the middle there and bring this down here and across, you know, it's taken off all the darks. But you could also use it if you want to look into the darks. So you've got pure black, which again, you can, might want to do something about. So now what I'm going to do is 
I want to use this to help selection. So I'm just going to say select and selection from layer. And notice this has selected all of this. Now I could actually get rid of this layer here. I'll just turn it off for now. Go back to the original, turn this on. So now I've got the white areas and off white areas selected. If I just went straight to adjust them there, these are pixel edges. So you get a bit, bit of a harsh edge. So I can go to select feather and turn up the feathering here. So I got a kind of a softer edge to it. And you can go quite a way with this. It's a high res picture, so you can scoot this up quite a bit. So I'm going to apply that there. And now I can do something like if I go to adjustments and to the curves here, then I can change the, the brightness of those things. A little bit of a tweak here. I had a control D, don't need those marching ants anymore. So I can brighten the, the clouds here. How about that for a selection? Yeah, it doesn't need much. Or I could go the other way around. I can click on the curves to look uh, there, in vertex, control I to invert the mask. Now I'm adjusting everything but the clouds. And so say, for example, whoops, I could darken down things and there the clouds still are remaining there. So there you are. There's an example of the things you can do and these monochrome macros, which you can have free. There we go. Thank you very much for watching.